Now this, eight Fijian-born soldiers who served with the British Army in Iraq and Afghanistan have been rebuffed in their initial attempt to seek judicial review over the handling of their immigration plans. Claims. Uh, the British Army actively recruits from Fiji and those who serve more than four years have the right to remain in the UK if they can afford the application fees. However, some Commonwealth veterans claim that the costs were not made clear when they initially left the army, believing they had a right to remain in the UK. A High Court judge said the Commonwealth veterans were out of time, but the veterans are able to demand a fuller oral hearing in December where they will make a final attempt to win the right to remain in the UK. Let's speak to Taitusi uh, Ratvu over... Uh, now, I'm get this, going to get this right, because last time we gave it a good old go, three or four times. I know he's used to this. Uh, but let's be... Uh, Taitusi, first of all, how are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to have you with us again. Just remind us of the correct pronunciation so I don't get it horribly wrong of your surname. Oh, it's all right, don't mind. All right, OK, we're st we're, st we're stick with Taitusi, uh, and that's fine. Um, you are one of those soldiers, of course. Just explain, then, um, the journey you've been on. What was the... What were you hoping... We know what you were hoping would happen, uh, but just give us a little bit of the background as to what's what's behind where we've arrived at at the moment. All right, at the moment, um, we're still uh, waiting for for what we're trying to do about this um, visa. We, we've been fighting with this for, for a long time now, mm -hmm. but we're still uh, waiting for for the government and so, the Home Office. So how did you feel when the High Court judge said that you were out of time? Yeah, I was, I was feeling very nervous. But that okay. isn't the end of the story. Yeah. You still have you still have a possibility in December when you will get some uh, a, a, a chance at an, a, a fuller hearing. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. We'll keep fighting. Yeah. Um, when they say you're out of time, and we'll speak to uh, the lawyer on this point in a second, Vanita. Uh, but d were you aware that you were on a time limit? Were you aware this was going to be difficult because of time considerations? No, not at the moment. OK. Let's bring in Vanessa Templeton, lawyer from Duncan Lewis, and represents eight of the veterans who are taking action against the MOD on this point. Vanita, afternoon to you. I mean, this this time frame thing, uh, as the, the lawyer here, were you aware that you were on the clock, as it were? Well, it's, it's a technical issue, isn't it? The Home Office, uh, the government and the judge have... The, well, the judge says we're out of time. Um, judicial reviews generally have a three-month deadline. Um, the argument that the government has made is that they have left, they, all of our clients left the army years ago um, and did not take steps, which from their point of view should have been taken three months after the act or the breach occurred. Mm. But the thing here is that none of them were aware of the breach until years later. Yes. And um, we're talking about two to five years later. Um, and upon being becoming aware of the breaches, were unable to rectify their circumstances because of the costs of making applications and the fear of repercussions of making those applications. So our argument is that they're not out of time because the issue, the issue of the costs places them within time because they're unable to rectify the, the, their circumstances. So that's the argument which we have put forward. We believe it's a, it's it's the strong argument and um, doing it. We have submitted an application um, for an oral renewal and a hearing has been listed for the 1st of December. What are the, I mean, I understand this is a fuller hearing, is that right? Well, the first there are two stages to seeking permission for judicial review. The first stage being a paper application, um, and then if that application is refused, um, there is the option of seeking an oral renewal, where the lawyers will go before a judge um, to argue the issue. And that those hearings tend to generally. Be quite a brief hearing but in this case it's been listed for two and a half hours it's it's a complex issue yeah. um, 
no, no doubt about it. You know, it's a very complex matter um, involving a group of clients. And um, yeah, it's being heavily contested. Um, but, you know, from our point um, of view, it's it's a very, it's a we, we've, we've been pursuing this very strongly. And we have faith in the arguments that we are running. Is that does the legal system judge solely? I mean, is this just looking purely at immigration status? Does it take into account serving for the British Army in Iraq and Afghanistan? I mean, you might, from an outsider's perspective, think that that would be fairly paramount as part of a defence for a, a claimant's um, application to remain. Well, well, I think this the, the, the issue is not just it is about a breach on the part of the MOD. Actually, that's the starting point. That's the root of the case that we are running. Um, it's that the root of this case are, are historical breaches um, because d um, discharge processes, which were part of policies and guidance, um, the MOD guidances, which mirror actually exactly um, Home Office guidance, were not followed, um, which meant that on Home Office records, uh, our clients and many others are still would still appear to be serving because they have not been informed mm. by the the, 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 home, the home office have not informed the MOD um, that these soldiers have have, have been discharged, yeah. and and there were many other steps that needed to be taken, including informing them that they could take steps to um, apply for indefinitely to remain. So I mean, the, these are issues that have been discussed before. Um, so it's not just about the immigration status; it's about the the, the detriment that these these individuals have suffered over sure. the years, um, as the as the immigration, you know, as the um, hostile the environment became hostile, um, and the fear of belatedly becoming aware that they were not here with regularized status and not being able to um, put that right because of the extortionate fees. So it's it's a two tier argument really sure. and i think sometimes um that that initial breach what i feel has been lost in this process really in terms of the coverage is the fact that there were significant breaches at the very start which has been which have been perpetuated by the lack of affordability of these fees yeah and uh, tatusi just to explain how long have you been in the uk now since uh, 2001 yeah, you're, you're yeah. settled here. You're a family man. Last time we spoke, of course, um, you were you were about to have or crowdfunding for a, a brain operation, right? Yeah. How are you getting on? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, David here. I'm the uh, campaign manager for the, the Health of Commonwealth Veterans Aid. Um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's coping very well. You know, he's, he's still going to be going through the radiotherapy um, we still don't know whether the NHS are going to charge £30,000 or, or up to £50,000 for, for the treatment, um, although we have managed to crowdfund a, a significant amount of that. Um, we're also now crowdfunding for, for the actual uh, legal claim because, unfortunately, the Home Office applied for costs and, and, and were awarded £12,600, which, as you can imagine, eight for Deans who are unable to work haven't, haven't got that money. So we're trying to raise £50,000 through the crowd justice uh, uh, system. So if any of you viewers can donate, that'd be fantastic. But, All right, uh, we, we will we will certainly direct people. We will direct people in the in the right direction of the crowdfunding page. In the meantime, thank you to the uh, the last voice we heard there, um, and also Tatuzzi and the lawyer Venita Templeton with us here on Talk Radio. The